If you haven't tried Fillout's AI form builder, I can all but guarantee you're spending about 10 times too long on building your forms. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, a no-code implementation partner. You can grab the link to Fillout's new AI tool in the description below. And I'm here, and this is so cool. We've got the ability to describe the form that we want. We can import questions, or we can do it from PDF. And I'm going to try all three. All right, so let's try this out. I'm going to first try to describe a form. So I'm going to put in that I want a customer feedback form for a technology services company, because I'm kind of curious what kind of feedback that we're going to get about our specific company. I'm going to choose to put them all on one page and generate this. Let's do a simple purple theme. Let's see some of the questions it's grabbing. All right, and our form is ready. Let's check it out. All right, this is pretty cool. So we have our description up top. We have a number of different field types. So it's not just like a bunch of text area fields. I'm digging this, a phone number that we can capture. Yeah, this is really nice. Like even if I need to tweak this or make some changes, I can do this much faster than if I needed to create all of the questions myself. Next, let's try the importing questions. And so I think we're just gonna make a list of questions here. And to do so, I Googled a list of questions. This looks like it's an online counseling intake form. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll and copy all of these questions here. And I hope the formatting is all right. Let's paste this in. Okay, so there's a lot of information. Some of them aren't even formatted that well in the current iteration of questions, but let's put a few on each page and see what this looks like. Okay. This is kind of cool. We've got some images here. Go to the next page. Yeah, so it already took this information. And did we even have it summarized as general information? I want to take a look at that. Yeah, okay, so this is cool. It even creates the sections with AI because I don't even see where it's specified into general information. If I look back in the form, yeah, we've got our high-level information. Where is this appointment occurring? All sorts of questions here. And then we've got our specific symptoms information and preferences. This is pretty sweet that I can just grab a list of questions and put it in the tool and it spits out this form for me. And let's try our last option here, which is to do it from a PDF. And this I think is so important because honestly, there are so many small businesses and government agencies where everything is still done on PDF and Word docs. So this one I think I'm most eager about to see what the experience is like. So I found an expense approval request form for the grand state of Louisiana. Just found this on Google. So let's see what this looks like. It's a fillable PDF. And let's go ahead and pull this in. I downloaded it on my computer already. Let's do, let's do this one all on one page too. We'll generate our form and here we go. Yeah, so we have our address field, city, state. Love it. Why we need to have this approved. And then this office piece we could probably hide and put on the back end for the actual office admin team. But this is really accurate. So if you have not checked this out, encourage you to do so, whichever of those three methods you want to use, because I think it's going to save you a ton of time in your form building experience.